bit of a rainy day today and you can't fish. I don't like fishing in the rain, but what do you do on these days? I'll tell you what I do. I go shopping. So we're gonna go to Bass Pro and we're gonna look up some new lures and try to figure out a way to fish through some of this thicker weed that I've been dealing with lately. I'm trying to find a new um, top water hollow body. Not sure exactly what. I'm thinking I'm thinking the live target um, rat. It's like a big old six inch hollow body. There's a part there's a, there's a spot that I fish that has a ton of duckweed. I mean what I mean a ton I mean like seems like a half inch. Sometimes you'll throw your lure in there, it doesn't even break the surface. So I'm trying to find something a little bigger. Something still subtle though. I mean buzz baits don't work in duckweed. It's too thick. But a giant hollow body that can cause a lot of wake, has a lot of size for you know a big profile might help because although it's difficult to see through the duckweed it, during the sunny day you'll be able to see a profile of something and I think because it's so thick that a smaller profile bait may kind of get lost in translation so something bigger I think is definitely going to help me out so let's give that a try okay guys we have successfully infiltrated the Bass Pro and I'm just going to take you guys shopping with me today I'm looking for something with a little more ump to it and that's, that's uh, this live target mouse has got me really attracted it's nice pretty freaking big and I think that's what I need for the fish that I'm looking for in this heavy heavy uh, heavy mat let's see what else I got I think I'm done with the cheap frogs. You know, the XPS's, I used about probably like 30 of them. But every time they get hit, they pretty much fall apart. So, done with those. Uh, what do we got here? It's, it's a pretty average sized frog. I'm definitely getting this big fucking rat. This is it. What is it called? The uh, call this the field mouse. So far, I've decided to pick up the live target field mouse and the bronze eye uh, popper by Spro. This is um, just black, I guess. But uh, this one's money, and I usually get the XPS's, but the XPS's have been falling apart on me, so I'm spending a little more money this time. And since I'm using 65 pound braid, I'm not worried about losing this shit. For that heavy grass mat, I'm going to try to do some flipping and pitching. And I've also picked up these yum woolly bugs. So now I'm going to go grab some, uh, I'm gonna go grab some weights and some hooks. On my way out of the Bass Pro, actually I'm out of the Bass Pro, I'm just in my car now, on my way home, and I picked up a couple extra things that you guys didn't see, well, I, I think you saw everything, honestly, I wasn't going to buy any more shit, sometimes you go in there, you thinking, you keep, you keep thinking you're going to buy one thing before you know it, you walk out with ten things, and then you're like, where the fuck did my money go? And like, oh yeah, that's right, I spent like $100 on plastics. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to get on back home first, and then I will review everything I got and see how it pairs up with my stuff. What's up ladies and gents, we're back. And let's see, what did I bring home? Brought home the Live Target mouse. The field mouse, made by Live Target. This thing cost me like, let's find out exactly, the live target mouse cost me 
$12.99. My flipping tungsten weights, I don't usually get tungsten weights, but I decided I'm going to try them for the first time. I'm going to flip into some heavy cover, and I guess this is what I need, so I'm going to use it. But these, holy crap, they cost, they cost almost as much as the live target mouse. I, I don't know, like, maybe I'm new to this, but I don't understand how it could possibly cost the same. I mean, this, this is only a part of something that's going to help me catch fish. This could literally catch me fish, like, straight out of the box. Whatever, wherever people get tungsten, they're going to have to find it from the source because it's way too much. Okay, so I bought the Spro uh, Bronze Eye Popper. Bronze Eye Pop. Um, I don't know. I use these a lot. I usually use the XPSs, but they seem to fall apart on me pretty easily. And I'm going for durability now. I'm using 50 pound braids, so I never lose my frogs. Alright, got some woolly bugs. These will be nice for the uh, flipping jig, and I got these Gamakatsu Super Heavy cover hooks. These are going to be some freaking money. Look how thick they are. Alright, well, that's it. I mean, I guess I could open it up. an ounce in weight. It's not bad. It's definitely it's nice and soft. It feels like it feels like a real mouse. Like I could just I could just stroke it and pet it. It's my pet mouse. Uh I don't know, not much to say. Feels really comfortable, <laughs> I guess. Feels like a real mouse. The tail is like rubbery. I, I see this tail getting cut off after like a single bite. This is gonna get snapped off ASAP. And these hooks, tough hooks. Oh no, I can't wait to use it. We'll see. We'll see. Wow. That's a fucking heavy weight. Bow! Can't wait to fucking let that hit the, some hit some heavy cover. Fucking smash the water apart with that. And but of course, the Zebra's eye popper. This is tried and true, good shit. You know, the worst part about the, the XPS's, and this is not an XPS, this is a Spro. It's quality freaking frog here. Ow! Oh my god. The hooks are sharp too. Ugh. But here is the part I want to explain. This weight here. The cheaper the frogs are, the quicker this thing falls out. And you'll notice that with this Spro, they, they designed it in a way where this this is almost like um, like a part of the frog it's like uh, like melted into it somehow so that won't come out and that's that's pretty much the reason why I'm buying these I started buying Spro in the beginning because that's what was recommended and after catching some snakeheads um, not catching snakeheads but after losing a few lures, I realized I couldn't afford to keep buying them. But now that I got 65 pound braid, I don't worry about that. And that's pretty much it. Like, when you fish frogs, when you fish anything that is, uh, spe if, when you're fishing anything that's got specific gear that is meant to match up with it, you have to use it. Uh, there is a reason why people use 50 to 65 pound braid on topwater. Um, there's a reason why people use that for, for heavy cover jigging. I mean, you're supposed to throw this frog into just about anything. You, you're gonna, th this isn't a, this isn't the type of bait where you want to be 
oh, I don't want to throw it in there because I might lose it. No, you toss it in there and you work your way out and you work it out of it. But there are times where it will wrap around itself and that's, that's when it breaks. And that's when you got to use 65 pound braid. I was using, I'm embarrassed to say, but I was using 20 pound braid for the longest time and I would lose frogs just just on a cast sometimes from a bird's nest. So I, I am, uh, I'm done buying cheap stuff and I'm going quality all the way. There's quality reel, quality rod, quality line, and now quality base. So you really, you really pay what you get for, or you really get what you pay for.